Hello, welcome to another video. I'm sorry that I look like sh I feel like sh so that's why I look like this. I think I might be coming down with something. I don't know. I fall asleep at like 6 p.m. last night and I slept all the way until now. Anyways, today we're working on my save file. I wanted to furnish some houses together. I have the shells already built. These are some older builds by me, but I want to integrate them into my save file because save files in The Sims are so big. The less work you have to do for them, the better. And so I figured if we just take some of the older builds that I've done that I'm really proud of and put them down in the save file. So that's what we're going to work on today. Also, this is my cat, Watson. You're going to come over here and bother us. Hi. Hi, sweet thing. Hello. He's standing between me and the monitor I need to look at. So that's really awesome. And now he's in front of the camera. Cool. This, this is great. I can already tell this video is going to be a mess. <laughs> okay, so I have a few things to show you. This is the Boudreaux estate. I started building this. I'm not sure if I'm keeping it or not. Honestly, I don't really like it. I would love opinions in the comments. Um, I don't know. I just don't like love it the most. I don't hate it. I think if I like do landscaping, I could totally get there with this build. I don't know. It's not my favorite thing that I've ever built. I don't really love the New Orleans style. I'm definitely not going to be doing more New Orleans style homes. I just don't like them. Hey, hey, that's my mic. I have these um, mics that clip onto me for my live stream. I do art on my live stream and so I'm a little bit more mobile. Um, and they have these little fuzzies on them and he thinks that the fuzzies are toys, but these are like nice expensive mics. So honestly, I might bulldoze this house, but the Boudreaux's are going to be a really big family in Willow Creek and their rivals are going to live here in this lot next to them. Okay, it's placing down a house that I built a while ago. I released this as a... I believe I released this as a Simblerine present on my Simbler, which I don't use my Simbler. Okay, well, we're going to load in to, to furnish this thing. Um, I have no idea the kind of sims that are going to live here, and so hopefully I'll also come up with an idea there. It has some fun landscaping, which I really like, but it is missing a garage door, so let's see if we can get the garage mural to go there instead. Perfect. What we have left is the inside, so this is the kitchen, which is also missing some items. Um, two bathrooms, the master, which has a closet. You enter on the second floor, so then you go downstairs into the basement, which is less new and updated looking. There is a garage, which has laundry. This room, which I gave like a cute little split level thing. I think it'll be a kid's bedroom, a nursery, or just like a smaller room of some kind. And then this I was thinking could be like a family room. First of all, a sliding glass door. That's the first thing that really sticks out to me is missing, is that I had a sliding door in this build and I think it was a custom content one, so. And then let's also do the kitchen stuff real quick. These cabinets and this are different colors. I think I did that. I don't think that's a glitch that's happening. So I'm debating on if I wanna keep that or not. I did build this a while ago, so. I feel so ass right now. I don't know what's going on with me. I I get sick like so insanely easy and and I think I'm just recovering from an illness, to be honest. Okay, it's several days later, but um I still don't know what was going on with me this day. I I was possibly sick, possibly not. I I really don't know. Um, I still feel kind of gross. I honestly think it was just allergies and that I was being really melodramatic about it. This doesn't matter. You don't care. You're here for Sims. But just in case anyone was worried about my health, I'm being really melodramatic in this video. Um, keep in mind that I also sound and look like this because it was like 5 a.m. Don't be worried. I'm fine. I'm just melodramatic. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna put this Home Chef Hustle range hood above. I don't know, is the white cabinets with like the colored, is that weird? But like, I love both of these like cabinets and I'm liking that I'm mixing and matching. I'm just gonna keep it. He's gonna try and force his way into my lap. Hi, yes, your friend, your friend. 
I grabbed some tea, so hopefully that'll just cure me of all my ailments. And then I also realized before we get any further that I should pick an angle to build from. So this is gonna sound strange, but whenever I build a house in this game, I try and build it so that you can put your camera stationary one angle and page up and page down, and you can play with everything in the house from that one angle. And if you turn it another angle, it might not work, but if you are like front, or you're sideways, or you're from the back, or you're this way, one of them, my goal is that it will work mostly. This one's gonna be kind of hard because the staircase is kind of in the middle, so no matter what, unless I build from this angle, this bathroom's probably gonna be a little obstructed. And then upstairs, there is this kitchen stuff, but I think that this angle is the best. When you're in live mode, these mirrors should go away, so you should be able to click on both those sinks as well. So I think that this is the way to go. Um, so that's this is the angle that we're going to build in mind with. I think about that when I build my houses, or at least when I furnish my houses. Not all of them are perfect in this way, but I hate, like absolutely hate playing in houses where I have to like turn my camera all around. The current Watson family farm is definitely like guilty of that and I hate playing in that house for that reason. So I want all these houses to be super functional. I'm editing, but I figure this video is already barely about Sims. Um, my cat while editing is tried to climb in my lap, but he doesn't really fit. So this is the other cat. His name is Sherlock. Hi, bud. Oh, this is very nice. This is very nice, kitty. This video is barely about Sims at this point. It's about only other things, pretty much. But hopefully, you know, the cat makes up for it. But we have enough space that we could do one of those big round tables. That might be kind of fun. Maybe the parenthood one. Although, why is this one less round? It's like really low poly for some reason. <laughs> Does this one look good? No, it looks too modern. What about the jungle adventure one? Oh, this one looks really nice. Let's just do this one. We'll place it under this light and then let's get some good chairs going. You know, honestly, this should have been a no face cam video because I look so busted today, but okay, I feel like we need a big rug under this. I don't know. I feel like the chair, I feel like it's too much. Does it feel too much to you? It kind of feels too much. It is so funny that I'm asking if this is too much because later this house becomes a maximalist house and I just put one table down and I was like, is this too much? What is going on with me? And uh, finding a round rug that I like is also going to be a challenge, I'm realizing. We'll have more luck if I do CC. But I'm trying to do as little CC in this save as possible. I'm considering doing like a CC free version of this save. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I really don't want to, but the last few houses I built have the capability to be CC free. And so I'm like, well, maybe I should just start it and then I'll feel obligated to do it and then I'll have done it. I just know that so many people aren't gonna download my save file if I have CC required. But no matter what, I feel like I'm gonna have mods required. So like, what's the difference between like that and like a little bit of custom content? I don't know if that rug looks good or bad. And I don't know that I wanna do blue theme, but I feel like a square rug is gonna be like my only way to make this work. Cause I, we don't have any circular rugs that I like. And then there's this one, but then I have to like shove it against the wall. Maybe this is the formal sitting. Honestly, the paranormal pack went so hard. I'm thinking of having my Gen 3 Watsons be like paranormal investigators and then also be some kind of a cult. I think that would be so fun. Let's, let's, let's go to the family room. So this is very clearly a line to have a TV right here. I don't usually put TVs in my build. It's intentional on my part. I just hate like Sims autonomously watching TV. I don't know why it bothers me. Maybe that's just some internalized stuff. I hate wasting my time on a screen even though I do it so often. So I don't let my Sims do it so that when I'm wasting time on my screen, I don't have to witness my Sims wasting their time on their screen because then it's like a double waste of my time or something. I don't know. If it's not for me to play in, then I'm more likely to because I know that other people use TVs in this game because it's good for fun skill, but like, Fun skill. It's good for fun. So far, I'm not getting any more clear of a picture of the type of family who lives here. This is like super generic. I'm 
just I'm not sure like what kind of family I would like to live here and I would like to decide soon because I'd really like to not build super generic okay that yellow is cute maybe I could tie more purple in does that look silly I feel like it looks kind of silly but I kind of like it I could do the purple rug and then it okay I really like that other rug a lot but that purple rug with the purple cushion and the yellow and now if I just add in some red what if this is a red couch? Do we have red? And of course we don't. We we wouldn't have that. Um, although I could do with this brown. Ooh, I like that. Am I crazy? And that has more personality. I was going really like beige mom before. Okay, what if instead of this TV stand, we did a fireplace since I am obsessed with those in this game. I think they look really lovely. Okay, this family is really colorful and ornate. I think I want to use a lot of paranormal pack in this house. It just feels right. Let's get a lamp in. If I put a plant this close to the fireplace, will it catch on fire? It probably will, right? Okay, here's what I'm envisioning. I'm envisioning like a younger, more hipster-y couple who thrifts a lot and is kind of eclectic. I'm imagining them purchasing this house they're ready to start a family i'm unsure if they have one child already or not because like we could do like a nursery in here but they don't have a baby yet but then we also have this room which is totally like too big for a nursery it's split level i really want to do like a fun kids room in there so maybe they already have some kids They'd have to have some money in order to buy like a really nice house in like a nicer neighborhood so one of them would definitely have to be in some kind of like well-paying career that's something that i realized that i should probably double check is that all the sims that i make and the careers that they have if you were to play with any household in whatever house they're living in that they would be able to pay for their bills so that's another thing to add to my to-do list let me write that down actually i feel like my list of things that i need to do are just ever growing what if we do the red chairs to tie that red pillow in? Is that too much? It feels a little bit McDonald's-y. What if we just do one and then we do the second chair in a different color? Or maybe we just don't do a second chair. And then maybe we could even pick out some more red in the paintings that I choose. Don't call me crazy. I'm being so for real right now. I know this is wild, but like, it looks so good. <laughs> this is gonna make them like die of sadness though, isn't it? Would you put a picture of the tragic clown in your living room, yes or no? They would for sure have a disco ball. Maybe I'm just like sick and just going completely off the walls and you guys are like yelling at me like, what's going on? What is wrong with you? But for real, like I'm being so serious. like. What if we put a disco ball in here somewhere, like right there maybe? Is that stupid? It's probably dumb. It's probably real dumb. Okay, I'm saving the disco ball for later. We'll probably put it somewhere because I think it's fun. They would for sure have like this kind of a radio. Dude, are we for real right now? Are we being so real? Okay, these are the thing, the corner things. This is what I was looking for in the dining room that I couldn't find. I wanted one for like right here but maybe not necessarily that one. There are other ones that aren't exactly in that style. Although now that we've switched the design to be a little bit more maximalist, maybe it'll work. Okay, I just got up and changed. It's the same morning. Um, I just feel like I looked ugly and then the hood also kept just like pulling off and the cat was being a lot and I was just really overstimulated. So I just got up and I changed it to something that wouldn't make me feel uncomfortable. I feel like this is a little bit more personal and rambly of any other kind of video that I've done on this channel. So hopefully it's still enjoyable. Okay, let's put a pillow on this because that'll break up the red. It's a little bit, I don't know, a lot of bit red. And so maybe we can just make it kind of less red if we just put like a cute, of course none of the colors would really like go with anything else. Ideally we'd have like a purple, but we might have to settle on pink these people are the opposite of sad beige moms they are happy happy colorful parents oh my god i love these curtains 
Am I being crazy again? I love these. Wait, do we have a bigger size or is this it? Because I really want these curtains in the living room, but these windows just do not lend themselves to it. You know, if these curtains were CC, this wouldn't happen to me. Why would you make such detailed curtains that only are for one tile windows? They're such big, beautiful curtains, you would want to put them on bigger windows. Call me crazy, but I think it's coming along beautifully. I can't tell if I like or despise this mixed curtains idea. For the most part, you would theoretically be playing from this angle. God, I hope those go away in live mode. Do I have to move someone here to test that? I, st I really am so stuck on these curtains. I can't tell if it looks stupid. See, and I'm not fully convinced that this looks good either. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. But I guess it doesn't look that weird. I think I would be the only one who would have the thought that looks weird because I'm the one who's seen it before. And then I could edit some of the windows in the back and in the master and it might make a little bit more sense, to be honest. Well, it is the back and it is mostly obscured by a tree. So honestly, I could probably do whatever I wanted with the windows back here and it wouldn't really matter. Like I could probably do that and most people wouldn't even like notice or think it's weird. Houses in real life have weird stuff like that. So I get that like in The Sims, it's gonna drive you mad, but in real life, look at the side of a house. Their windows are crazy. Okay, I do want an eclectic bookshelf over here. Oh, I love this one. This one is so pretty, but I just, it's too big for the space, but it's so pretty. Okay, you know what could really tie it together is probably if I put some patterned wallpaper in, that would honestly probably really bring it together. Let's, let's see, let's see. But I want something subtle enough that it's not like really, really overbearing. I still want this to be like playable. This is really cute. We could do this. But then I feel like we need all the door frames and like wood in this house to be brown instead. And it's not even a really nice brown. I don't really love that brown the most. Okay, I like this one better. It's the same kind of lilac. I think the lilac really works. What about, are there any here? Do they have a purple here? They do. I think that's too much. Okay, my alarm just went off, which means that I should start getting ready for like life now because now I'm meant to be awake and like doing things. So we're gonna have to wrap up this recording session, but I'll finish this at some point. Like oh, this wallpaper is so good too. But it just doesn't really work. It's a little bit too loud. I need it to just be like slightly more subtle. I'm gonna pause and for you, it'll be one second. For me, I'm just gonna come back to this on a different day. Okay, it's a different day, but I just finished editing the first half of this video. So I figured I may as well finish the rest of this house. The first half of this video is already so long and I'm just worried that it's just not gonna get done in time. I only have like one room partially done and we have a whole ass house to do and I'm already like 18 minutes into the recording and editing and I'm just so nervous. Also, side note, I actually bought Gatorade Zero and I'm so mad. I don't like Gatorade Zero. I'm. It was on sale and I thought it was normal Gatorade. And so I bought like a whole pack and it's fucking Gatorade Zero. And I hate no sugar. And I didn't even realize until I was drinking it. And I was like, this tastes funny. I have a whole like 18 pack of these. Like what the hell? So I'm gonna drink them because I don't know what else to do. Anyways, no one cares. Let's just get into the build. <laughs> it took a really long time to load in. So that's mildly concerning to me, but I'm gonna hope it's not something to worry about. Oh yeah, we put Tragic Clown in. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I also still don't know if that plant is gonna burn this place to the ground or not and I'm just gonna risk it I'll play test it, but like I don't think I'm gonna move it. <laughs> okay family photo moment over here time to add in some of that shenanigans so we could probably put some Family photos over on this wall and they'd fit in pretty well. That's a lot of photos I want just like one bigger photo, but we don't really have that option. Our options are literally this, which is too much, or this, which just looks weird on its own. Maybe if I hang it more in the middle. Does that feel odd or is that okay? I can't tell. You know what? Words of the day today. I'm just, is this bad? Is this good? I feel like I just said that the entire first half of this video. 
Sorry, we're getting really meta commentary now on like what I thought about the first half since I just finished editing it. Sometimes I talk and I don't know why people watch. <laughs> okay, let's put these in. These are really cool. I think that maybe makes the this a little less weird right in the middle. Um, let's size this down. In editing, I was wondering why I didn't just do that. I want to see, like, does it break it? Like, is that fine? Like, I can just make it a little smaller, right? Like, oh, it's the shadow. I also haven't thought about the couple who lives here at all, which is like super helpful of me um, to not think about this stuff, um, which I normally do. Normally, I really like ponder on my lunch breaks about like sims and I like write stuff down. But instead, I was just thinking about this other sim that I have an idea for. Basically, it's going to be a celebrity sim, a closeted person who like severely portrays themselves as heterosexual in the media and has like a whole big giant conflict about it. I don't know, I think that's such a fun storyline to tell. So I've been thinking a lot about that character. I haven't made that sim yet, but I've been thinking about them up here a lot. Okay, I'm looking for something fun to do in the living room. And then I think maybe we can move on to another room after this, after maybe just like a little bit more clutter too though. And by something fun, I mean just like a skill. I feel like the more skills, the better in sim homes. Like we could do a chess table. Like they seem like they just have a chess table in their formal living for some reason. I was singing a Taylor Swift song earlier while recording this and then in editing, it got re-stuck in my head because I was listening to myself sing it. And I'm just so pissed right now <laughs> that it's back in my head. I think I need a little bit more green from the curtains tied in. So let me see if I can just add a little smidgen of green in here. Okay, I said a smidgen and then I immediately pulled out like really green chairs. I think that's like not it. Is the chess even working here? I kind of don't feel like it is. Maybe a piano. I've done a piano already in um, the last house, but you know, I don't think a piano is a very common item to have in your house, but I have one in my house. And so I feel like really inclined to put them in my Sims houses for some reason. I don't think Sims can get through there, which is kind of making that a deal breaker for me. We could get this like short one, but I don't like it as much. And it's also custom content, which we're avoiding. But anyways, there is a piano in my house because it was like, I don't know, like some family heirloom thing. It like doesn't work. It's like a broken piano that is so out of tune. We use it to like put plants on, like it's a glorified shelf. I don't know. So in my brain, like, oh, eclectic house with a bunch of different items, just put a piano in there because my house for some reason has one. But I think that my family just has random bullshit that we don't need. Maybe a fish tank? Hang on. I don't use these items a lot. This is not a skill building item, but it's an item with some kind of activity tied to it. So. I'll accept it. Okay, maybe we delete that sconce and it only has one sconce. And then we just have a fish tank in the side of the room. I don't know. Okay, I, I can't. I can't do it. We're coming back to it. Right this second though, I will put a parenting board in. And then let's get a table. I was going to do a round table earlier, but our options are kind of limited. So I think I'm ditching that plan and we're just going to do like a bigger table. Maybe we could even use this movie hangout one since it's a more eclectic house. Might work if we just change the colors a little bit. I love this blue one. I wish it was just like a little bit more toned down. Okay, tool mod to the rescue. This is one of the things that tool is like actually really good for is um making items specifically rugs just like slightly bigger okay. i'm making progress here i think this is toning down this table but for real i don't know why we can't more precisely scale rugs already in this game but such a game changer to be able to just do that somebody just commented thank you on one of my videos like just now i just got the notice for it but like didn't specify like thank you for what you're welcome i i don't know why you're thanking me but you're welcome okay but i don't want it to look that fancy so what if it was like this one and then it was blue i kind of feel like too much blue we know curtains can also do wonders so i'm gonna try and find a patterned curtain keyword pattern this will be hard that ties it together without becoming too much that's the goal 
I mean, if I really wanted to go matchy-matchy bold, I could use the movie hangout um, curtains in the same pattern that's like on the tablecloth, but I don't think that we're going to go for that. This would be great if it was once again really toned down. I think a lot of the movie hangout stuff would be so good if it was just like a little bit just more grounded. It's just a little too out there. It doesn't go with the rest of the game enough. Okay, this is too kids roomy, but I think that pattern is in the right direction. And I also think that this color scheme is in the right direction. I know I just called it really kids roomy, but I think those colors kind of work to like bring it together. A lot of our blues aren't really this shade blue of this table. They're more like cyan, which is really hurting me at the moment. Even custom content, I don't think I have any patterned anything but even if i just pull up blue like it's all like really cyan like see how this is like it's a very green toned blue whereas this is a very like true primary blue and we just don't have a lot of those it is really frustrating when i feel like there's still some basics we don't have in this game such as just like a true blue curtain that like works really well maybe i just found that maybe it's vintage glamour the other thing i wish is like so in the recent packs they've done the custom content creator thing and i truly believe they stole this from cc creators where you get each side and then you have a pole in the middle but then like this pack it's like it has a it has a thing in the middle so it just looks stupid <laughs> okay i've come back to i don't like it so Maybe the curtains didn't cure it, and maybe it's still bad. I'm just trying stuff, so like, bear with me. <laughs> Nothing is really working exactly the way that I want it to, but I can't even articulate how I want it to go together. Maybe if I just add more items, let's just keep going. Maybe a file cabinet in the dining room? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of losing the plot a little bit. Like, I, I don't think anything is working. I just, if I have anything else against the wall, it has to be against this wall, which means it has to go here or here. Over here is too far away, so here, but then it has to be really tall and skinny. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna ask my bestie, Paranormal Pack, to come save me. I'm literally just gonna filter by every item, and then I'm literally just gonna look at every single item in the Paranormal Pack and hope that cures me. Okay, I changed the floorboards and the layout and the wallpaper. And I added a few items and it's just something still isn't clicking with me, but you know, I'm tired. So I think this is gonna be a three day project. Okay, I'm here on an entirely third day. Today is also like really not my day. So we're gonna see how this goes, but don't hate me. I completely changed the dining room, like completely. It's, it's all different now. Um, basically, I felt like the dining room needed to have a bigger table and that table is too small. And I'm really dedicated to making that table work in this build. I just think we're gonna maybe do it like downstairs in the basement. I think we just need a smaller room. I think it can work and it has the capacity to work, but it had to like work with the kitchen and it just was really very open and big space. And I felt like I didn't have enough items to really work with. So if we just make it smaller, I think that'll be easier to do. I'm sorry that I did this offline. I also just felt like this recording was already really long and this dining room was giving me so much trouble that it was just like, let me just get a starting point and then I'll start recording. But anyways, to explain what I did, um, I picked these curtains because I really liked them and I went with just the same wallpaper as the dining room so I didn't have to pick another wallpaper, I could just use the same one. And I started with those two and then I went, you know what would look really good is if we got a green rug. I went to the rug category, I literally sorted by just the color green. You get to see all different types of objects that you never normally see if you do that. So. I did that. This rug is like a really small rug from Realm of Magic that I just used tool mod to size up to the correct size. I think it's like two and a half times scaled to complete the dining room. I've literally just picked out a few really weird packs and just sorted by those items. I normally do not build without CC. And so this is just my genuine attempt to make this work is just like by finding items that I don't normally ever use in this game. So. I have a Jungle Adventure, Strangerville, Journey to Batuu, Realm of Magic, and Paranormal on. And I'm just hoping that we can like 
make some headway just by like finding some items that I've never used before. Um, first, I'm really drawn to this. So I wonder if we could put something like this here, maybe in a different swatch. Ooh, it changes. I kind of like the, this. That's fun. Okay, we can do that. But we're certainly getting somewhere. I don't know if it's like the right place, but it's like better than I think we had before. I think we were really stuck before. So I'm hoping that this will just be a good kicking off point and we'll be able to just make some real headway this way. Oh, this object is so special, but I can't use it, which sucks. It just doesn't make sense. These aren't spellcaster sims in my brain. They're just eclectic people. Although this one we might be able to get away with. Maybe not. There's no swatches that I feel like really thoroughly work. Okay, this is a really cute chair. We can probably use it in like that corner over there. Ooh, or do I use this one? I kind of like that one more with the blue. I feel like this build is looking so unlike anything that I typically build. And I can't tell if that's just because I'm not using CC or if it's like a bad or a good thing. I think it's good. I think it's coming along. I hope it is. Watch, I'm gonna post this and people are gonna be like, what the heck? I feel like whenever I build without CC, it so clearly looks like a vanilla build. Like, I feel like sometimes I look at vanilla builds and sometimes it's like, wow, that's a pretty build. And sometimes I look at vanilla builds and all my brain can conjure is, wow, that's just no CC. Like, that's a vanilla build and you can tell. And I just don't want any of my like save to just look like, ooh, this is a vanilla build. I love putting clocks into my builds. When at the right time of day, light comes through that window, which is so nice. I love that. I'm gonna look for a hutch one more time. I feel like I've already looked at hutches so much for this dining room, but we're gonna try it again. I will once again attempt to make one of these swatches work from Paranormal. And I once again will probably, yeah, be defeated. I don't think any of these really hit the marks. Although I love this hutch, so I want to use it, but it's just not working in here. Okay, that hutch looks really cute. And then maybe, we already have a plant over there, so I can't put a plant in every corner. That chair, the blue is just drawing so much attention, but I love the purple so much. And I can't tell if I need to swap it to this one or if I wanna leave it at this one. I feel like they're both vibes. This one is a little bit more like cohesive and nice. And this one is a little bit more like popping. And I can't like, I feel like objectively I should go with this one, but I really like this one. Maybe I'll stick with this one for just a little bit and see how I feel. Oh, I kind of love this fish item. No, there's no way this can't work. It's so cute though. like want it to work so badly maybe if it was like closer to the wall it would work better but it's just it sticks out enough that it just looks odd i'm leaving him we're just gonna see we're just gonna see how it goes we just bring in more fish vibes i think i'm losing the plot a little bit i feel like i've never seen this item before in my life and it says it's base game is this in a recent update with like the party essentials kit because like this is base game I've never seen this before. Like, I swear I've never seen this in my life. Since this is a more chatty video, maybe this is also a good time to mention that I recently got a comment that really bothered me and I just want to throw it out there that I will never, ever, ever be cool with you talking badly about like other Sims creators in my comments. I don't know, it's just weird. There's no reason for you to do that. I have like 900 subscribers. It's so odd to feel so pressed about someone else that you're like in some random person's comment sections talking about them because like, once again, I have like no subscribers. It's so weird. This isn't like to downplay the subscribers I do have. I hope you get my point. Just that like, it's so odd to go to such like a niche small YouTube channel just to talk shit on someone else. Like it's just, it's not even that it's mean. Like that's, like that's obviously a problem too, but like mostly it's just strange of you to do. Like you just come across as very obsessed with somebody that you're claiming to like not like or care about. Understand that I don't mean that I'm not like thankful for the subscribers that I have by saying that like no one is subscribed to me. Obviously like a lot more people um, than I thought subscribed to me.
Okay, I think this is cute. This is a really cute dining room. I'm thinking maybe the purple chairs are a bit much, but we could also do like a toned down, I don't know, some other color. We could do the blue and we could change this back to the color with the blue and then it would kind of match a little bit more. That's an idea for sure. I think maybe we go back to this and maybe even the pink is better than the purple. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this. This is really nice and it looks like this going this way. So we definitely need to finish the kitchen and make the kitchen a little bit more cohesive with this space. But I think this space has turned out really good. We just need to clutter it all a little bit, but I think I'll go through and do that at the end because I need to clutter the living room still too. And while we're talking about it, maybe we should just do the kitchen right now. Ooh, look at this tile that comes with the home chef hustle thing that pink goes really well with these and then if we just get a different tile on the floor maybe like a tomarang one maybe like a tomarang one maybe we get like a green going on you know if the fridge functions if you put it in a cabinet like this like does it still work because i kind of like like a built-in cupboard as an idea but i don't know if this is still usable maybe if i pull it out a little bit more yeah let's keep it in that corner and let's also get like a column to kind of break up this space and maybe even we could get like a spandrel to further break up this space we do have the one from tomarang but it's kind of glitching i feel like it's meant to have like stained glass and instead it just looks like a void which I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, hopefully that'll stop glitching. I don't know why it looks like that, but I feel like the green stained glass would kind of go with everything. So hopefully that will look really nice and it kind of separates the space better. I don't think that tile was really working as much as I wanted it to. Okay, it might be time to bust out some custom content because I just... I'm thinking of something in particular in my brain. Is that too samey, too much green, or is that really cute? I think it's really cute. Then maybe like an old torn up rug kind of sized down in here. I feel like I'm on one right now. I feel like it's just working. Everything's flowing. Of course, now I'm going to jinx it and it's just going to start all going downhill from here. But for now, I feel like it's happening. Is that still cohesive enough with the dining room or is it kind of becoming too much its own vibe? I think we might need to bring in some more like pinks and peaches. Maybe we'll do my little trick again where I just sort it by color. Let's do colors and maybe some pinks. There's so many interesting rugs I've never seen before. Like what is this rug? I swear I've never seen this in my life. Oh, this is fun. Okay, this one is it. That's it. It goes with the purples in here. It's not pink. I don't know why it's in the pink category. It's definitely purple, but it's what we need. I think this is going so well. We really turned it around. For a second there, I was super stuck, but I think I think we've done something here. I think this is really coming together. Um, I'm actually gonna <laughs> take a detour to work on this foyer a little bit because I think that we can really round it all out if we work on this. I think that we really want this rug. I've been thinking about using it. I think it works in this space. It will forever drive me crazy that we don't have matching swatches. Why does this one have this swatch, but this one doesn't? Why? Like, this is so perfect for this room. And you're telling me that I can't put it here because it's a circle? Like, that's weird, right? If I just have like a circle there, like, that doesn't make any sense. I wish we had it in like a half version. It's just so perfect for the space. Like the colors are gorgeous and it belongs there. Like, why don't we have it in the other shape? And like, we don't even have it in this shape. We have a half circle version. Look at this. It's not, they don't match. Why do none of these match? Like what, like who did that? I'm gonna try and make it work because it's just too perfect for the space. I hope that watching this isn't like the most boring thing ever. I hope that this is at least like somewhat helpful or interesting, but I don't know. I, I my, my hopes for this video are low. I feel like I've just been all over the place today. 
I don't know. This is what we're feeling right now. This is how it looks. This bin is kind of bothering me, but I don't really have a better bin. I, and also the fact that I just called it bin is so funny. It's a trash can. I'm American. I think I've been watching too many other simmers because I don't normally say that. I also am getting the strong vibes that we need like a floor vent right here. Right there. How perfect would it be just to have one of these? I'm going for it. Isn't that perfect? It's so perfect there. I'm also gonna go around and add some light switches just while I'm thinking about it. And then another realism thing that I'm realizing I should start adding in as well is some smoke alarms. So we'd probably have a smoke alarm up here above that feels about right. Probably another one up there. One in every room kind of seems a bit overkill, but that is fire code. <laughs> but in The Sims, it feels like so many fire alarms, but I'm pretty sure that's fire code, that there's meant to be like a certain number around. I'm gonna say that one in this room is good. To break the fourth wall a little bit, in this recording session alone, I've been recording for 45 minutes. And this is all we have done. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to do a lot more of it, like, not recording, because this is just gonna be such a long video. And I'm honestly reaching a point where I'm, like, running out of stuff to say. I'm just, like, building, and then I keep realizing that I'm forgetting to talk. I haven't figured anything else out about these sims, other than I know that one of them has to be in a more expensive career. So, I feel like if one of them's fallen, then, um, they would have good knives for sure. Maybe a more eclectic set of knives fits better. Oh, that fits their space better, absolutely. Can I still use the microwave if I do that is the question. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I just really don't trust Sims to be smart enough for that. I have a Red Bull, I haven't even been drinking. I've just been drinking water out of this mug. But I have one of the Sea Blue Red Bulls, which it's Juneberry flavored, it's really yummy. I heard this rumor that the good Red Bulls have like a little dot on the bottom. It comes from like a different manufacturer or like factory or something. I don't know, like purely a rumor I heard. So now whenever I have a Red Bull, I look on the bottom of them to see if it has a little dot. None of them ever has. So whoever told me that could be like completely pranking me. So unnecessary of me to add to the length of this video with like unrelated unnecessary stories, but did any of you guys' colleges ever have, like, Red Bull girls? Or is that just, like, a me thing? At my college, on certain days of the week, Red Bull girls would show up, and it was, like, these sponsors of Red Bull, but, like, they weren't influencers. They were just, like, pretty girls. Always very pretty girls. Never a non-pretty girl. And they would have these Red Bull backpacks, and it was just, like, a can of Red Bull, but it was just, like, a backpack. And then they would go and give energy drinks out to college students. And that was the first time I ever had an energy drink was when I was 16 years old, going to college early because I'm smart. And then a, a lady came and gave me a Red Bull. <laughs> Feels like a fever dream when I talk about it. But does anyone else have that? Is that just my area? I don't know. Ugh. Oh, this is such a fun item. If we scaled this down and put this somewhere else. It's like a bird skull. Is it weird if I have two skulls in one room? That's a little bit, that's too much. Let's put it in this room maybe? Maybe not, there's no shelves. Okay, we'll come back to it. Ooh, this old fashioned camera is so them though. What if I put this over here? Yeah, that, that's good, that's good. They would do that, they're that annoying type. I say that, I'm totally this annoying type. I would love something like that in my home. Okay, I think that's some really good progress on the kitchen. I just added a little bit of clutter. We probably need some curtains, which we only have a couple of curtain options. Now I'm wondering if these chairs are too much. They're kind of distracting me now that I've put these curtains in. I feel like they're just popping out a little too much in comparison to everything else. So let me see if I could find something that's similar vibes, but a little bit more chill. Ooh, I like that. Is that crazy? Or am I am I onto something here? Isn't that so cute? 
outside. Okay, I felt like the outside was a little too plain before to match the interior. I felt like the couple who lives here would like most certainly paint it. So now it's yellow. <laughs> I don't know, this is just the funnest color I could find. I feel like all the siding in this game kind of sucks and none of the lighting looks good on this lot either. So I also tried to fix some of the issues with the roof. The roof was kind of haphazardly done before. This, I don't really know how to fix. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about that or if I just ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. In general, I can't decide if I like this more or if I hate this because it really is a toss up. I don't know, I changed it back, but please let me know in the comments what you think because I'm dumped on that one. Um, in terms of the inside, this is where we got to. I think I'm going to end this here and we might do a part two where I finish this um, and I'll probably work on a lot of it offline if I'm being honest. This is stressing me out. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Sorry, this is a bit of a weird one. I know I didn't even like finish the house. Who knows? I don't. Yeah. You guys said you liked seeing more like processy videos. And so I thought maybe this was process, but I feel like it's too much of a mess. Feel free to let me know. That's all I got. <laughs>